Hi, this is Ted Pedrawa. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks with LinkedIn groups on how you can search through the content and find specific keywords and reach out to people to connect with them. So what we do is go to interests and groups. And most people think you just go to a group and you post comments or you post articles and interact with other people, but they don't know it's actually like the LinkedIn advanced search. You can actually do searches and find very specific information. So I'll go to the eMarketing Association because I know that's a, a big group that's very active. So here we have 570,000 members. It's a very, very large group and there's a lot of active conversations. So you want to join those groups that have a lot of activity and, and good conversations and frequent. So here it says we have over 570,000 members and I could scroll through these if I really wanted to, but boy, that would take forever. So let's say I want to find all the authors. Just type in the keywords and click on search. And here it's narrowed down to over 500, but that's a lot better than 570,000. So what I can do is scroll through these people and see people that I know. I know quite a bit of these, quite a few of these people actually. But let's just see if Mitchell's posted anything recently. Okay, here Mitchell's posted a link. Our thought leadership ship components was five days ago, and a thousand people have viewed it. One person liked it, and there's no comments. So if I like this, what I can do, I could like it on Facebook. I could tweet it, add it to my Google Plus. Or I could share it on LinkedIn. But let's just go through and see who liked it. So here, Daniela liked it. So when you see if there's a lot of people that liked it and you see, you start seeing the same people liking things and commenting, it may be a good time for you to connect with them. So if I see Daniela has been commenting or liking a lot of the same articles I like, I could reach out and connect with her here. Or I could view her profile and learn more about her. And I could also leave a comment here. But see now, Mitchell's got over 3,900 people following him. I can see all of Mitchell's posts here now. So he's got four posts here. He's got a lot of followers. So he's only posted four times and he's got almost 4,000 followers. So you see the traction you get with just a little bit of activity on LinkedIn, that you can get a lot, a lot of traction. So you can dig a little deeper, say, okay, why is Mitchell so successful? Obviously he has 500 connections, a little more, more than 500 connections, but just kind of scroll through his profile and learn more about him and see who else is similar to him. By here, similar to Mitchell. These are people that are LinkedIn thinks is similar to Mitchell. And here when they view Mitchell, they've also viewed these people. So you kind of look for those connections and, and connect with the same kind of people. If you think Mitchell is a powerful, if you really agree with his opinion or you think he do, does good work, start connecting with people that are similar to him and, and these people that are viewed. So let's go back to the group. Show you some more search tricks. So you look for people, things you have in common, or you have the same opinions, or even different opinions. Sometimes it's good to connect with people who have the polar opposite view of yours, just to get different perspectives. So we searched here. That's one way to do the search. So let's look if we want to do coaches. So here we got over 500 again. So we can go through here. Again, I know a lot of these people. It shows your first level connections here. But you just kind of look for people you know or, or people you don't know and look at the activity and see what they're posting, comment on it, like it, share it, and build relationship with them. Another thing is look for top contributors in the group. So you see Chris has posted a lot. So I could follow Chris, I could follow Kimberly. So you just go through, if you're not following these people, 
scroll through, you can look at their profiles and see if Chris is somebody that you'd want to connect with. So here's his activity. He's had a couple comments. So I could follow Chris here. And I can view his profile. So if it's somebody I don't want to reach out and connect to, I can send them an in-mail, or I can connect with them right here. Or I can ask for Chris for more information, get introduced, and look for references. So there's lots you can do before you connect with them. But this is a really great way to build your network with the right people. So let's go back to the group again. Show you some other tricks. See, we have the search button right here. So if we click on the search button, you can look at the latest activity. So here are the last, the most recent posts, five minutes ago, 22 minutes ago. So you see lots of new conversations being started here. It's always good if you really see something that's fresh content and nobody's commented or liked it, it's good to get there first because people will see that you're one of the first people contributing to that and they can comment on your comments then. Sometimes if you get in the discussion very late, it doesn't get as much traction. But here you can do all discussions and here you can search for topics. So say I'm looking for discussions about LinkedIn. Type in that keyword. And here are all the discussions that contain the word LinkedIn. So if I'm looking to connect with people, jump into discussions about LinkedIn, bingo, here we go. There's lots of conversation, people talking about LinkedIn. So here's when Robert says, social media has ruined marketing. This is a good one because there's been 1,400 likes. It started in 2011. It's still getting activity. Lots of comments. And I can follow this conversation. So if I comment on it, I can follow it. So if somebody replies to my comment, I can interact with them. So this is a great way. So let's just look for another topic, say Twitter. Let's see who's talking about Twitter. So here's conversations about Twitter. Again, here's, he's talking about social media. So obviously it's Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook. And here's someone who wants to connect on Twitter. Here's a good way to build your Twitter base. If you want to connect with other people that are in marketing, here you go. You jump into this discussion and you can connect with all these people. So people really don't use the groups. A lot of times they just post and they auto post to these groups and it's things like blast conversations, one-way conversations, self-promotions, and they don't get the value in the groups. But this is a really, really easy way to find very specific topics related to your niche and jump into those conversations just by using these two little search methods. Thanks a lot, everybody, and for more information, visit www.linkedaccelerator.com.